Hello all, and welcome to the latest episode in my Halo Wars Definitive Edition Lazo Guide. I am your host, the Spagmeister, and today I'll be going over the 7th campaign mission, Scarab. You've advanced to where the force field stood. Take a look around. The scarab is incomplete, but its head is operational. Its field of fire prevents any chance of retreat or extraction. You'll have to destroy it. Firebase ready. Before I get rolling along with this mission, I'll activate the first nine skulls in the menu, which will include the debuff skulls as well as the physics aesthetic related ones. Build up our base and army and go kill that scarab. Reactor complete. The scarab searchlight beam shows the direction it's facing. On the way. The temple ruins in this area will provide some cover, but not forever. So while I'm getting the base constructed and some units produced, I'll go ahead and send Forge and the one Scorpion that I begin the mission with to go around and destroy the power nodes. You've destroyed a power node. The Scarab's head is turning a little more slowly. Supply pad upgraded. Turret improved. Turret complete. On the move. Supply pad complete. Ready to roll. On my mark. The Scarab's weapon system is relying on the power nodes in this area. Destroy them to reduce the Scarab's combat effectiveness. Upgrade. Destroy those locusts wherever you find them. They're building killers. Complete. The scarab's head is moving even slower now. Keep it up. Anytime. Anytime. Scorpion rolling out. Rolling. On the move. Supply pad upgraded. Under attack. Send us in. Scorpion ready for combat. Sir. Orders? Where to? All units. Rolling out. What do you need? Let's go. So as you're working with Forge, just keep a good eye on the Scarab Searchlight Beam to avoid its path. Now once I acquire all the upgrades for power 3 or higher, then what I'll do is destroy one of the reactors and I can get another supply pad up and running. Target acquired. They've 
Watch the counterattack on our base. Yes, sir. Take them out. Power turret research. Turret improved. Turret improved. Yes, sir. Engaging target. Reinforcements research. units. Unlike what I did with my legendary guide, instead of working my way to the right hand side where there's a little bit less resistance, uh, I'm going to take the left hand approach which offers a little bit more cover for the scorpions. What you'll really want to watch out for during this mission are the upgraded hunters. Now while I'm not going to upgrade the marines, putting them in the sniper towers works pretty well for scouting out some of these areas for where the Covenant will deploy their units. And as you progress through the mission, the Covenant will send troops via their spirit dropships, so a couple of these areas towards the middle and off to the left hand side is where you'll commonly see troops being deployed. Of course, as you're clearing out the left-hand side of the map, make sure to keep producing scorpions at your base. Once the beam makes its path again right in towards uh, in front of the base, I'll send these five scorpions off to the right. We're ready. Up. I'm there. 
For the meanwhile, you can leave these scorpions off behind this uh, piece of cover over by the sniper tower. units. Now once you get troops up by this uh, little hole, you can send the scorpions that are off on the left hand side to start engaging the scarab. While you're defending your base, make sure to leave a couple of scorpions out towards the front. Of course, make sure that none of your units go out in front of the scarab. It's pretty easy for that to happen. So just like Legendary, if you checked out that guide, what I did was I sent my scorpions out in front of the beam, just one at a time. If you do it properly, you shouldn't lose any scorpions in the process. Almost there. The scar 
Nearly destroyed. Yep, sir. Tank on the move. Turret complete. And that'll do it for this mission. The scarab is destroyed. Victory is ours today. So there we go. That got me to complete this mission in just under 15 minutes. So just slightly longer than what I did on Legendary. Um, the strategy is identical, except just in the order in which I handle the power nodes, but other than that, your really big threats are the hunters, the banshees once you get to the scarab, and also just defending your base from the counterattacks. Otherwise, you really shouldn't have too much trouble with this mission. It's probably one of the easier levels to do on Lazo. So... Thank you all for joining in on this episode. I really appreciate all the support I'm getting on these guides. And hopefully I will see you in any of my future or past videos. So take care everyone and have a good day.